How to charge your phone with insect power when the world has ended. No lights, no signal, dead batteries. Your phone is just a shiny brick. But bugs? Bugs don't need Wi-Fi. The grid's fried. Solar panels got looted. Generators are louder than dinner bells for raiders. You want to check old photos? Maybe even find a signal? But your phone's dead. So, welcome to the Roach Farm Battery Lab. Don't scream. They're your power bank now. Step 1. Grab a handful of survivors. Not people. Bugs. Roaches, beetles, crickets. The grosser, the better. Their bodies are basically walking electrolyte sacks. Step 2. Find some scrap metal. Copper and zinc if you can. Jam one in the front of the bug, one in the back. Gross, yes. Effective, also yes. Step 3. Wire them together in series, like nasty little batteries. The more bugs, the more juice. Don't crush them unless you're going for soup. Now connect that mess to your phone with stripped wires. If the screen flickers, congrats, you just invented the Bug Book Pro. Here's why it works. Insect goo is packed with salts and fluids. Copper and zinc plates inside create a chemical reaction. Electricity flows. It's disgusting biochemistry. But hey, it's volts, not vibes, that keep you alive. If your phone lights up, you're alive a little longer. If it doesn't, well, congrats, you built a bug farm. Either way, the apocalypse doesn't care. But now you've got power crawling in your hands, literally.